<laughs> My husband's a turtle. Yay! <laughs> Hey guys, I wanted to share a bit with you about my experience volunteering in Crete with Archelon, a sea turtle conservation group. I woke up at 4.30 a.m. to get ready and get to the beach to meet with the long-term volunteers for 6 a.m. We patrolled eight kilometers of the beach, checking the nests for signs of any hatchings that may have taken place overnight. I got incredibly lucky that I actually got to see a hatchling myself. Archelon does much more to help sea turtles than just work with the nests and hatchlings. To learn more, check out the links in the description below. These nests belong to loggerhead sea turtles. Look at all those little footprints. You can see where some of them got lost and confused by the lights from the boardwalk in the nearby hotels. Naturally, they try to go towards the light emitted from the moon. Such a long way to go for a little baby turtle. If you see a baby turtle, shade them from the sun, flatten the sand or create a path in the sand and remove any hot sand from their path to the ocean. Do not touch them, do not put water on them, and do not bring them to the ocean. The turtles need to make the journey to the sea in order to know how to return to mate and lay eggs of their own decades later. Then, that night, Joe joined me to observe a nest excavation. They would wait 10 days after the first set of turtles hatched to dig it up and see if they could find any live ones who couldn't make it to the surface. They would then count the number of dead turtles and count the number of eggs to see how many hatched. Out of the unhatched eggs, they checked to see if they were fertilized and if so, at what stage the fetus was at before it died, and if it died from a bacterial infection or something else. Yay, science and data collection! We got lucky again and got to see a live hatchling removed from the nest, and although its fin was injured, with the help of the volunteers, it too made it to the ocean. We did have video footage of this, but we lost it. Sorry. You can and should donate your used beach mats. They cut and line the path from the nest to the water for the hatchlings to prevent them from getting lost or confused by the hotel's and boardwalk's light. Thanks so much for watching! For more sea turtle videos, check out my Tobago playlist to see a leatherback sea turtle lay her eggs. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more. Also, look how fat my fingers got from the heat! Ah!